Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to Tech Tuesday, your weekly look at everything to do with technology in golf. And today we're going to be looking at a report which has just been released uh, by the RNA and the USGA about the alarming increase in distance that has been seen on the main tours over the last season. Season. The season. And what the USGA and the RNA are saying in this report is that there's an unusual and concerning increase in the distance of drives going on tour. So I'm going to read from the report and an article here on Golf WRX as well. And basically it's saying in 2015-16, editions of the distance report presented the increases in driving distance in 2003 as a slow creep of around 0.2 yards per year. The 2017 data shows a deviation from this trend. The average distance gained across the seven worldwide tours was more than three yards since 2016. And then I'm just going to go on to read this quote as well. Increases in distance can contribute to demands for longer, tougher and more resource intensive golf courses at all levels of the game. So this is harking back to something that Nicholas said last week about golf courses having to be made bigger and really altering from what they were meant to be because of the increases in the distances. It goes on to say these trends can impact the cost to operate golf courses and put additional pressures on golf courses in their local environmental landscape. The effect of increasing distance on the balance between skill and technology is also a key consideration. Maintaining this balance is paramount to preserving the integrity of golf. So what we're going to do is just have a little bit of a deep dive into this report. I will leave the link in the description below as well if you wanted to go check it out. It's heavy going at times, there's no doubt about that, but we'll pick out the key points for consideration. So basically this report is a joint effort between the RNA and the USGA and it is specifically about distance being gained off the tee on the major tours. So the data that's all been gathered from the PGA Tour, European Tour, the Japan Golf Tour, Web.com Tour, PGA Tour Champions Tour, and the LPGA Tour and the Ladies European Tour, going back as far as the data is available. And this is fairly interesting because this is what we're gonna speak about in this video as well, about how this affects the amateur golfer. The report goes on to say that the average distance um, of a sample amateur male golfer in the UK was measured to be 208 yards in 2016. This represents an eight yard increase over 21 years. So on average, an eight yard increase over 21 years. Just let that sink in for a moment. Now the first table we're gonna look at here, and this is probably one of the most interesting ones in many respect, this is the average increase in driver distance, but it's also got these little milestones overlaid. So you can see the beginning of the end for wound golf balls. So this is where, you know, the, the multi-layered Pro V1 style balls start to come out. And that's when Pro V1 really starts to dominate. And then you've got all the other golf ball manufacturers jumping on board, trying to catch up with that. And then the multi-layer tour ball takes over and you can see from that point, you know, it's steadily, steadily increasing. But then last year, you can see how there's that big jump. What the report also shows is the steady decrease in the scoring average as well. So what you can see here is throughout that time period, the scoring average has been steadily coming down for all the tours pretty much. And there are so so many more tables in here, it's ridiculous. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below if you really wanna go deep diving into it because there is some stuff on amateur golfers here as well. So I'm just gonna include this as well. Now this is from Data Golf. Now this shows the evolution in driver distance on the PGA Tour and it's pretty closely matched by what's happening on the European Tour. Now this goes from 1983 all the way through. So we'll start playing this through, but just keep an eye on the basically the maximum distance of the drives. As the years progress, yes, the average is increasing, but look at the extra amount of drives which are going over that 325 mark. It's getting more and more progressive as the years go on. So what this is showing is yes, that the average driver distance is increasing overall, but what you're tending to see is the people who can hit the ball the furthest, they are hitting the ball a long, long way. So the massive amount of driver distance is focused in this table, I think, particularly. So there's huge increases in distance there. Players who are bombing the ball out there, 325 plus, that is becoming more regular. And the amount of players who are bombing the ball over 300 yards in general, that is becoming much more prevalent as well. And again, this is circulated throughout social media, so a lot of people are having this say. I'm just gonna get this quote in this tweet here from Jimmy Walker. Let's take a nationwide poll of men and women and ask them how much they would enjoy their best drives being rolled back 20% on the fly. And again, we're gonna get back into the amateur standpoint from this in a moment. And I'm just gonna include a couple of tweets here, but honestly, this is generally the gist of what most of you 
you guys were saying last week about the possibility of that golf ball being rolled back. Now this tweet here from Steve Barnhurst, uh, just tweeted my golf spy earlier, is this is ridiculous. The elite players on TV that hit it 300 plus are on TV because they are elite. Let the best of the best hit it as far as they can and leave the rest of us alone to enjoy the odd flush drive. And this one here from Matthew Haggerty, I don't want to hit the ball shorter, I'm already short enough, thank you very much. I also want to play on the same level playing field as the best. Better appreciate how good the best are. Stupid idea to roll it back. And honestly, that was the theme of many of the tweets that I received last week. People not happy about the potential of the ball being rolled back. And when you contrast the average increase for the amateur golfing driver distance, like we said, eight yards over 21 years, obviously that is probably not as data safe, if you want to look at it like that, as the PGA Tour European Tour and all the rest of it. However, anecdotally, I would say that's something that I see. You know, the average golfer is not absolutely bombing it out there. And the fact is, golf is a tough game. And then you should probably contrast that against what average handicaps have been for players. Now, this is a Golf Digest article, and this is based on handicaps in the US, and I'm gonna use that as the benchmark for this particular example. And you can see here that the average handicap has gone from probably, well, what was it, 16.5 in 1994, down to just under 14.5. And you can see the average USGA handicap for women, that's gone from just under 30 to just over 26. So on an average, you would say that golfers have improved over that time frame. But golf is still such a hard sport. You know, we're talking here about a couple of shots being shaved off on average over that time period. But if you think about all the technological advances that have gone on or that have claimed to have gone on by the manufacturers, you know, we should be having much, much lower averages of handicap. So it just shows that the game is still very hard. So we've got the governing body saying that something will have to be done on this. You know, it's a worrying trend. That's the type of wording that they're using. You have amateur golfers who are still the lifeblood of this sport. Let's not forget that. At the end of the day, the pros, brilliant. It's fantastic to watch. But it's the amateur golfers, it's the club golfers, it's the weekend players. They will keep this game going. Don't ever question that. And they are saying pretty unequivocally in every article that I've read and pretty much every single tweet that I've received is that they don't want distance to be rolled back. This game is hard enough. And one of the main arguments about this, and this is what I wouldn't really like about this, is let's say the amateur golfer wins the argument. And let's say the RNA, the USGA say, you know what, we won't roll the ball back for amateurs. But for pros we are, we're gonna get a pro ball in, you know, which has restrictions on it. I don't like that because golf has always been, has always been a sport where you could go to the same course as the pros play, say a Carnoustie open venue this year. You can play off the same tees. You can play with exactly the same equipment if you want to that they are using. And you can test yourself against them with the handicap and see how you come up. So over the last couple of weeks, even though the RNA and the USGA say there's gonna be no change, you know, they've got nothing in mind, that's what the report says, you will expect it to come. You know, from the wording that's in this report, from the gist of what people are saying, there will be a change made very soon. There will be something to alter within the rules. And if that's gonna encompass all of golf life, I think it is, then a lot of amateurs aren't gonna be happy about this. So what do you think about this report? And like I said, please go and have a look at that report if you want, it is in full in the description below. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow me on my other social media platforms as well. They are all linked in the description below also. And we'll see you down here next time.